Welcome back to Court TV Live. We continue to follow breaking news. This is a live shot there in Manhattan, New York, after this uh, deadly shooting of CEO of United Healthcare that was shot and killed earlier today, Brian Thompson. He was shot and killed this morning, early this morning, as he was making his way to United Healthcare's annual meeting of investors, of course, that has since been canceled. But police, they really need everybody's attention and help in finding the suspect. There's a 10 thousand dollar reward being offered right now for the shooting suspect. Uh, NYPD has released um, surveillance photos taken of the suspect in Midtown Manhattan. He was dressed in all black uh, with a hooded sweatshirt, hiding his face, pointing a gun in front of the hotel, and then fleeing on a bicycle. The suspect wearing a light colored backpack. And again, Crime Stoppers offering a $10,000 cash reward for information leading to the apprehension of this suspect in the death of Brian Thompson. Um, the hotel where this happened, they have also released a statement and they write this quote, we are deeply saddened by this morning's events in the area and our thoughts are with the affected by this tragedy. Additional questions should be directed to the NYPD and the New York Hilton Midtown general manager also, we should know, told CNN um, that Thompson was not a registered guest at the hotel. So maybe that's where their conference and uh, their meeting was being held today. Maybe he was just passing by for coffee. We don't know. Um, we are just moments away from getting an update. As uh, individuals are making their way closer to the podium, officials are going to give us an update on the death of the CEO. Let's go in. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. In Midtown Manhattan, early this morning, 50 year old Brian Thompson, the CEO of United Healthcare, was shot and killed in what appears at this early stage of our investigation to be a brazen targeted attack. This does not appear to be a random act of violence. The victim was in New York City to speak at an investor conference. It appears the suspect was lying in wait for several minutes. And as the victim was walking to the conference hotel, the suspect approached from behind and fired several rounds, striking the victim at least once in the back and at least once in the right calf. Many people passed the suspect, but he appeared to wait for his intended target. The suspect fled first on foot, then on an e-bike and was last seen in Central Park on Center Drive early this morning. The victim was removed to Roosevelt Hospital where he was pronounced. We've been in touch with his family, his friends and his colleagues and they are very much in our thoughts and prayers at this hour. The full investigative efforts of the New York City Police Department are well underway and we will not rest until we identify and apprehend the shooter in this case. The women and men of the NYPD take enormous pride in the work that they do each day and each night to drive down crime and violence in our city. Right now, we are asking the public for your help. If you have any information about this case, call Crime Stoppers at 800-577-TIPS. We have increased the reward in this case to $10,000. I want to be clear, at this time, Every indication is that this was a premeditated, pre-planned, targeted attack. Millions of people will be enjoying the tree lighting tonight, among other holiday events, and the NYPD will be out there with them, keeping them safe. For some preliminary details about today's tragic incident, I pass it over to our Chief of Detectives, Chief Joe Kenny. Thank you, Commissioner. The information I'm about to give you is preliminary as our investigation is continuing. This morning at 6.46 a.m., patrol officers from Midtown North Precinct responded to a 911 call of a person shot in front of the Hilton Hotel located at 1335 Avenue of the Americas. This is between West 53rd Street and West 54th Street. At 6.48 a.m., officers arrive and find the victim, Brian R. Thompson, a 50-year-old male, on the sidewalk in front of the Hilton with gunshot wounds to his back and leg. Mr. Thompson was removed by EMS to Roosevelt Hospital, where he was pronounced dead at 7.12 a.m. Mr. Thompson is the CEO of United Healthcare and resides in Minnesota. Detectives from Nightwatch 
Midtown North Detective Squad and Manhattan South Homicide responded to the scene and began their investigation. What we know is that the shooter arrived at the location on foot about five minutes prior to the victim's arrival. He stands alongside the building line as numerous other people and pedestrians pass him by. From video, we see at 6.44 a.m., the victim is walking alone towards the Hilton after exiting his hotel across the street. We believe the victim was headed to the Hilton Hotel to attend the United Health Group Investors Conference that was scheduled to start at 8 a.m. The shooter appears to be a light-skinned male. He's wearing a light brown or cream-colored jacket, a black face mask, black and white sneakers, and a very distinctive gray backpack. The shooter steps onto the sidewalk from behind the car. He ignores numerous other pedestrians, approaches the victim from behind, and shoots him in the back. The shooter then walks toward the victim and continues to shoot. It appears that the gun malfunctions as he clears the jam and begins to fire again. The shooter then flees on foot northbound into an alleyway between 54th Street and 55th Street. Once at West 55th Street, the shooter continues to walk westbound on Avenue de Americas where he gets onto an electric E-City bike and rides northbound on the Avenue Americas towards Central Park. Where at 6.48 a.m., we have the shooter riding this bike into Central Park at Center Drive. At the scene, we recover three live 9mm rounds and three discharged 9mm shell casings. The motive for this murder currently is unknown, but based on the evidence we have so far, it does appear that the victim was specifically targeted, but at this point we do not know why. This does not appear to be a random act of violence. We are seeking information from the public to help identify the shooter. As the Commissioner said, we have upped the reward of up to $10,000 for information. You're urged to contact Crime Stoppers at 1-800-577-TIPS. All information will be kept anonymous. Thank you very much. All right, well, I'm going to open up to a couple of questions. Uh, I'm going to start off with Shimon, um, CNN. So it's about an hour and 20 minutes before the start of the conference. Is there any indication that he was going to meet someone? Because he, I mean, it's pretty early. Is he on his way to meet someone there at the conference? He leaves the hotel dressed like he's going to be attending the conference. We're working with uh, his co-workers and other people that he planned on attending the conference with to get that information. But as of right now, he, he's, you know, um, in charge of the conference. So we believe he was getting there to help set up. City bike, if I may. Do we know where that city bike is now? Does he dock it or does he keep riding it? We're still tracking video. The last we see with him on that bike is in Central because Park. Is there a way to track that bike? Through there are GPSs on those bikes. We'll be working with the company. All right, we're going to move over. We're going to go NJ Burkett. Thank you. Chief, uh, were any words exchanged? If so, what were the words? Uh, and uh, I'm told the cell phone was recovered uh, in an alleyway on his escape route. Uh, does that appear to be connected to the subject? We're working through that cell phone. Obviously, we'll be processing it forensically. And as far as words being exchanged, we do not have audio of the incident. We only have the regular video. But nothing from witnesses? Nothing from, well, there was one witness standing right next to the victim when he was shot. We're still trying to identify that victim. Excuse me, excuse me, that witness. We're going to go over to Aaron Katursky. Thank you. Um, Chief, was he checked into the hotel across the street alone? Was he in the city alone? Was he accompanied by, by anybody? Did he have any known enemies or, or anyone that you've been able to find so far? Like I said, we're, we're reaching out to law enforcement in Minnesota, and we're also interviewing his, his co-workers and family members to see if there have been any specific threats against him in the past. As far as who was he uh, in the hotel with, uh, we're doing a search warrant in his hotel room right now. That might lead us, uh, give us some more information. Thank you. All right, we're going to go over to uh, Dean Moses. A couple of questions. One, based on the surveillance um, we've seen of this individual, do you feel like he's professional? You mentioned that he did a good spell. Do you feel like this was a professional individual who, who took his man's life? And also, will it affect in any way tree life tonight? Um, I'll answer the part about whether or not he's a professional. That you know, we have no way of knowing that. Um, to, from watching the video, it does seem that he's proficient in the use of firearms, as he was able to clear the malfunctions pretty quickly. But as far as the tree lighting, I'll, I'll leave that to Chief Madry. Yes. Good morning, Dean. Uh, just really quick, the, we don't. This incident will not affect the tree lighting. The tree lighting is slated to start at 7 p.m. The show, the actual lighting of the tree, will be close to 10 o'clock. Actually, 9:55 p.m. We will have a massive police presence out there around Rockefeller Center from 52nd Street all the way down to 47th Street. We will have plain clothes out there, a plain clothes detail out there. We will have our our CRC assets, our, spe our strategic resp response group assets. 
we will have our Intel division out there. Uh, a lot of assets out there to make sure people can come out and have a good time. And we're going to have additional police officers in the subways as well so people can take mass transit to make it easier to travel into the city and enjoy the tree. Uh, this is a terrible event, but we're going to go on and people are going to enjoy the tree lighting tonight. All right, we're going to move on to uh, Marshall Kramer. Um, I wonder if you could tell me, the mayor said that there was evidence recovered at the scene that would indicate that this was not a random event. I wonder if you could tell me what that evidence was. And by looking at the gun, it appears that there's a silencer on the gun. Was there a silencer on the gun? And does this indicate not only that it was premeditated, but this is somebody who knew his way around guns and might have been a professional? You know, once again, we, we won't know that until we complete our investigation and identify the shooter or, or recover that firearm. You know, you see a glimpse of the gun in video, so we're not able to make a determination on whether or not a silencer was used on that quick glimpse of video. We can't tell from that little glimpse of video. I'm not going to commit to say, saying that at this time. That would be part of our investigation. There's a, cell, there's a cell phone recovered in the alleyway, and once again, we will process that forensically and see if it comes back to this shooting. Was it, so you don't think that the cell phone was the, the part of the process? Um, was once again, this, this investigation is less than five hours old. That will be part of our investigation.